Hello guys, breaking news just hours ago, the new Grok code model is now available in Cursor for free for one week, so I was really in a hurry to test it, and in this video I will show Grok code fast in action, comparing that to Sonnet 4. On the same tasks, with the same prompt, and we'll see how fast Grok is, also how accurate, and also we will compare the pricing as usual at the end of this video. Let's dive in. Side note, a week ago you may have seen tweets by Cursor about Sonic model, which was just the code name, which actually happened to be Grok code fast. So I have prepared the same PHP and Laravel project in both Grok folder and also Sonnet folder, and we will test it side by side. It's a simple PHP and Laravel CRM, which I use for testing AI models and tools. So Grok test in the browser and similarly Sonnet test in the browser, two separate folders, but the same code base, the same context, the same cursor version, just different LLM models, Grok versus Claude for Sonnet. Three tests, which I do usually for tools and models. First, does it answer a simple question based on the code base like versions, then simple change in HTML, and then third, more complex change to database relationships. And in this case, I will measure the speed because Grok fast seems to be or claims to be fast. It's even in the name fast one. So how fast and how accurately it will answer this question. Let's begin. Okay, this is the answer. Is it accurate? Tailwind 4.1, Laravel 12.19. Seems to be correct. And the time is 12 seconds until the answer. But interestingly, in previous attempts before this video, sometimes it went much faster because it didn't check the log files. So it answered with just regular versions, version 12 and version 4, without specific minor versions. So in those cases, Grog Fast gave the answer in like three to four seconds. In this case, for some reason, it decided to go deeper and check the specific versions, which is not a bad thing. Now, Sonnet, if we click to Sonnet and launch absolutely the same question, let's see what happens. See how slower it is right away. And yeah, we got the result faster. But see the difference? That's exactly what I was saying. It just gave 12.0, but it didn't tell the minor version. So in terms of speed, let's compare apples to apples and let's try to force Sonnet to check the minor installed versions. For that, I will open a new chat so it wouldn't have any context. The same prompt, ask Sonnet 4, but I will add one more sentence. Check the specific minor installed versions. And now let's check the answer and its speed. So yeah, now it's reading composer log, which it should do. Grapping, okay. Yep, the answer is here. And now we have what I expected, 12.19.3. And the time is a bit slower than Grok. As you saw, 17 seconds versus 12 seconds for Grok. And in fact, before this video, during my pre-test, Grok was even faster than that. But now let's try something more complicated, changing the code. The second task will be to agent, not to ask anymore. And I want to remove one column from visual table in the Laravel blade. So description is too long and I want to just remove it. And this is the actual prompt. In human language, remove description column, but no database changes needed. Because in the past, without this remark, LLM understood that remove the column means remove column from the database. So I added that at the end. Now let's see how accurate and how fast Grok is. Okay, done. Let's see the visual result. Refresh the table. Description is not here, so it works. See the code, one file, three changes, removing the header, removing the column, and number three, changing the call span. Good, let's keep those changes. Now the same identical task for Sonnet. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay, still reading. Update. I'm still waiting. And yeah, the description of the result is longer, so it took like extra second for just writing that, which I don't really need probably in most cases. But let's see the result and compare. First, visually, is description gone from the table? Yep, seems to be correct. Now in the code, three changes seems to be the same. So header, then colon removed, and then call span. So the changes are also identical but the speed. In this specific task, Sonnet took 18 seconds versus 7 seconds for Grok fast, with the same result in the code base changes. Pretty impressive on Grok side. And the final test is to change something more complex in the code base. So for example, in the task edit form, there is a user which is a drop down to check one user, to pick one user. I want to change that to many-to-many -many relationship, so I would be able to pick multiple users. And here's the prompt. In the model, there's a user relationship, change that. Also, I'm not vibe coding here, I provide technical details of where I expect the changes to be, but maybe it will find something else along the way. But I expect roughly 10 files to be changed, and let's see how Grok and Sonnet deal with that. Let's start with Grok. And I will comment along the way, but will not make any pauses and see it made a to-do list. So that's cursor function, but it's thinking much faster. You can even feel that, you can see that. So yeah, thought for one second. I expect that to take, I don't know, a few minutes, but let's see. Maybe I will pause actually, and I've put cursor into so-called YOLO mode, so it doesn't ask for any confirmation and yeah thought for 12 seconds now in this case yeah so i will jump here and there it doesn't really matter what's inside for now we will check and compare the final result and the timing as usual so task three out of four and now the final task is in blade files i'm actually curious whether it will automatically test the results somehow whether with automated tests or with Tinker or something, we'll see, because it really depends on the model and the tool. No, it just finishes, changes completed. I'm not actually sure if the changes in the database were executed with PHP Artisan Migrate. No, they weren't, it's just an advice to apply these changes, you should run the migration. Which I will, but after running the Sonnet prompt, because they're both using the same database. Maybe it's a mistake on my part, I should have probably used separate databases, but I wanted to compare kind of apples to apples. But if we see the changes, nine files, pretty much the stuff that I did expect. So for example, in migration, create a pivot table, migrate existing data, and remove the old column. We will test it out, but now let's see if Sonnet performs well. So I execute absolutely the same prompt with absolutely the same context on Sonnet. Okay, to-do list, which is longer, six items instead of four. No, this is interesting. I can see the task model already has a many-to-many -many relationship, which is not true in the user here. Okay, we are in the final stages. Six out of seven done, so seven points now. Updating blades. Okay, now it run migration. It run the migration itself. Grog didn't do that. I'm not sure. In both cases, I allowed cursor to execute commands. Migration ran successfully. Check for linting errors. Route list. So cursor on top actually checks stuff. It doesn't run automated tests, but it checks the routes at least. And with migration running, I'm not sure whether it should be automatic or not. It's debatable and it's risky because time and time again, LLMs sometimes do refresh the database instead of just running migration. Now it's working on the summary. I don't really need that summary again, but let's count that as part of the job and we'll stop the timer after this is stopped. Features implemented, migrations applied, okay. So as you can see, Grok Fast in this experiment is three to four times faster than Sonnet 4. But is it the same code or better or worse? Let's check. Now let's see the visual results in both of them. 
So for Grog, this is the change. In the user, we have one user successfully migrated. And if we go to edit, we have an error argument string array given attribute merge something with select component of Laravel blade. So in the tasks edit blade, let's see the change. What may be the reason forms select and that select component. If we scroll down, it doesn't have multiple here and also with classes there's some error here so basically the change didn't work with one shot i need to change the code for that edit blade to work maybe new task would work let's click add task and yeah no error here so the error is actually in the class only but let's actually try to enter something see if we have multiple users successfully saved oh it does work Where's our task at the end? Yep, it does work. So the problem is in the edit form specifically with classes. And I don't see a quick solution here, to be honest. There's something with label in the edit blade, which causes that label class to be incompatible with this. I'm not sure, actually, because it's a custom blade component. But basically, Grog didn't figure out how to make it work by default. Did Sonnet figure that out? In the table of Sonnet in the browser, we have assigned users here correctly. We click edit and no error here because Sonnet decided to not use that X select and instead we have check boxes here, which is also a debatable decision because there are a lot of users in the database. And as you can see, each checkbox takes the full space. But let's see if it actually works. So if we update those, update task, does it work? Update successfully. Yep, it does work. Add task. Does it work? Yes, yeah, seems to be the same checkboxes. So in case of Sonnet, it decided to change XForms select to just checkboxes. And this may be partially the reason why it decided to take more time to be slower to refactor just this part alone. So yeah, what conclusions can we make from those three quick tests on Grok code versus Sonnet? Grok is indeed fast sometimes really fast. But at the same time, it may be sacrificing the quality in favor of speed. Even under this tweet, and I will link that in the description below for you to read, Lee told that this model indeed was Sonic. And let's read some replies from people who tested Sonic model. Some people reported it's pretty buggy, pretty good stopped after 25 minutes. Also, could be better. Also going in thinking loops, but some people report it's very good. So it feels like hit and miss with quality, but the speed is important and also pricing. So what Lee is saying, competitive pricing for input and output, this is the pricing for API usage, it feels like. If I understand that correctly, on x.ai website, Grok Code Fast 1 is priced at 20 cents per million tokens for input and $1.5 for output. Compare that to Sonnet, $3 per input and $15 per output of million tokens. This is, again, if you use directly with API. So the question is how it will be priced when it's not free on cursor or any other platform? Will it be included inside of Cursor or someone else's plans? But even if it's not included, it may be a model to use with direct API with bringing your API key into Cursor or some other IDE because the prices are indeed competitive. We will have more clarity on that when it's out of free version and probably it will happen in a few weeks or so. I will update you on this channel, so subscribe for any news, including my weekly free newsletter that I send every Wednesday. So now after shooting this video, I will update the newsletter that I should have sent an hour later to include this video and Grok Fast News into newsletter for this Wednesday. So I'm trying to be up to date even on the same day. So subscribe to the newsletter. The links will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.